beautiful, powerful woman. You going my way? Hey, yeah, I'll go wherever you want to take me. Hop in. Uh, by the way, this is like a fun color car. And electric. I would like to get me one of these. Take me to a bagel shop, stat. Uh, we're in New York, so that's not gonna be a problem. Oh, hey, I'm Nagin Farsad. <laughs> social justice comedian. If you don't know what that is, Google it. By the way, so happy to be in this city because you have everything I need. Absolutely. Do you need 12 Ethiopian restaurants within a one block radius of where we're driving? We can provide that. That is not a problem. Oh. And I do feel like New Yorkers really believe in this city and they love yeah. this city, even though that there's elements of it that make it more difficult. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. You guys going to the statue? No. No. Thank you, though. <laughs> We totally look like we look like, like tourists. Yeah, Nothing to see here. With their camera crew, <laughs> tourists who have a camera crew. New York is like really into not having climate change. All about it. Right. However, there's like a problem. Tell me. It's transportation. Right. Because here's the thing: like, there's so many um, bike lanes, and there's a bike share program, and there's subways and buses and ferries and there's so many different forms of transportation that we're really trying to crowd out the cars but the cars are proving very resistant mm -hmm. because it's private cars right people want to just get in what one person at a time it causes an obscene amount of congestion a whole bunch of emissions it's really loud and especially since now you're going to have a kid soon right yeah i've got a baby inside of me right now we have a baby inside an There's electric three car three of us in the car oh i okay. love that i love that we have a third <laughs> third wheel am i right if you have a baby stroller and you want to use the subway nothing was built for that no so it's like weirdly difficult, you know? Right. And between bikes and subways and walking on the old gams, which is the city was designed for the gams. Your gams really. be looking good lately. Hey, <laughs> thank you very much. I think what would be really fun about the future of New York is mm. if we looked like Beijing did in the 1920s, oh. where everyone's just on a bike. Right. I would be into that. Which like, I don't need it. The noise yeah. and the possible death and yeah. all that stuff. Not that you can't get hit by a bike, but it's going to be a lot less painful. A hundred percent. It'd be right? more embarrassing than anything else. Completely. It's like, did I just die from a bike? I know. <laughs> like, please don't put that in my obituary. Yeah. The worst way to die is being run over by like a slow moving bicycle. This guy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nobody wants that. Here's the extra fun thing about New York. There's a proposal on the books. Mm to change the entire fleet of buses to electric buses by the year 2040. 2040? That would reduce the cost of respiratory illness by $150,000 per bus and a that's year. If, if they stop eating those if they stop hot dogs. Using, yeah. <laughs> stop eating the hot dogs and, and all the buses are electric. I mean, we're living health. forever. We're living forever in New York City. Thank you to everyone involved in the New American Road Trip. We couldn't have done this without you. And to the people watching this, go out there, get involved in your community, your local projects, talk to your mayors, talk to the people that are inventing new ideas for a better planet. Be sexy, care about the planet, but it's not about sex. I don't want to objectify you. We know how that works. Thank you all so much on behalf of the New American Road Trip. This is Nagin Farsad. I'm JC Coakley. Have a good life. <laughs> For a second there, it got sketchy.